हे ऑल वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड टेक्निकली दिस इज़ नॉट द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस प्ले लिस्ट बट आई हैव बीन रिसीविंग अ लॉट ऑफ फीडबैक्स फ्रॉम यू ऑल दैट आई शुड ऑल्सो बी गिविंग द बेसिक्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन लाइक हाउ टू बिगिन यू नो जस्ट ओवर व्यू जस्ट एवरी थिंग वी नीड टू नो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग इंटीग्रेशन सो सो हियर आई एम विथ इट द रोड मैप इज ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी ऑन द लिंकड इन रोड मैप इज ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड ऑन द लिंकड इन एंड हियर ऑल्सो इट इज सो या द टूडे सो टूडे आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू गिव एन ओवर व्यू ऑफ वॉट ऑल यू नीड टू नो बिफोर यू बिगिन द प्ले लिस्ट हेयर यू सी सो वी ऑलरेडी हैव लाइक ऑल द यू नो रेस्ट ए पी आई इन बाउंड रेस्ट स्क्रिप्टेड रेस्ट ए पी आई इज कवर्ड ऑल द डिफॉल्ट रेस्ट ए पी आई एक्सप्लोर दीज ऑल थिंग्स आर कवर्ड आई विल गेट टू इट इन द वीडियो सो लेट्स जस्ट बिगिन सो सी एज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी शो यू द रोड मैप okay so before you begin integrations you need to know that why we need integrations you see whenever any platform we are using any platform the data that it has is not only its own data data is coming from a lot of sources let's suppose we take example of let's an it company okay so there in an it company there there are various employees okay employees is one category all the employees are using various uh, you know hardwares the laptops mouse that is another category then these laptops mouse and everything are coming from a particular company that is another category so you see data is not only within the organization that work is being done data is coming from various other organizations and even we the it company itself is sending its data to other organization so integration is the core core of working core of wherever we are working so integrations is very important and so you can just uh, be a uh, very assured that integrations in next 5 to 10 years is just going to be a boom and even now if you have a good hold on integrations and just you know just if you have covered these above three topics you know basics in bound rest api authentication mastery and outbound you are good you are good because after this all these are advanced integrations and here even you know flow designer if you have some basics using integration that you are you are extremely good to go you are good to go okay so yeah that is about the future of integration or let's see yeah we yeah so that is about the future of integrations and why we need integrations how it is the core okay so now Uh, what are the types of integrations in service now basically there are only two types of integration inbound and outbound these are the ways to these middleware file based and database these are the ways to execute these types of integration okay basically if you say on the ground level two types of integration so what is inbound inbound integration means you are receiving data from somewhere here i am taking the role of the owner of a service now instance okay so if i have created i have created something in my uh, so if created something in my instance via which it can be accessed from outside and they are sending data to my instance okay uh, let's say um, any uh, incident is created outside or they want to create incident in my instance but they don't actually have access to my instance okay from outside so from outside they are giving data to my instance so inbound means i am receiving some data okay that is inbound integration and outbound means i am sending data somewhere okay i am sending data somewhere basically you need to focus on the post part where are you sending data or where is the data being created this is the main thing and here i am taking the role of service now instance owner so for inbound i am for inbound i am receiving the data from outer from outer uh, third party or whatever from outer side and outbound means i am sending data that is middleware using third party tools like mule soft boomi and whatever okay these are middleware integration service now bridge okay these are i think future things you will come to know these are 
already provided apps which support okay and service now bridge is introduced by service now itself for a uh, kind of bidirectional uh, integration between two service now instances okay now file based integration that's again very common integration you like uh, set up uh, uh, some you receive data from you receive a file based data from that side and you try and you try to create an incident from that file based data or you just try to copy that file to one of your existing records so either ways you are receiving data right so that is database again that is a thing inbound email actions i have not mentioned here but that is one way okay like uh, if somebody has uh, sent an email to your instance or even somebody has replied to the email that was sent from your instance by all this you can uh, create record create or update record on your instance so that is one another way for uh, you know inbound integration okay uh, for outbound integration you are sending the data so most commonly used is again rest message that is the most commonly used okay uh, you will come to know in my videos for authentication and safety sorry authentication and security basically two types are used basic auth and no auth these jwt token we use like all these are available on the postman so i have included it here and in service now we have credential store yeah of course means we have client id and client secret obtained from outer outer side okay like because we need to access their instance so we need some authentication right means we are accessing a third party instance so we need some authentication some user id and password kind of thing or any kind of thing that which which will allow us to enter their instance right so uh, a service now provides us credential store like it has uh, credential aliases uh, where we can store the client id and client secret and then use it okay now for the rest api like see i have already all these are the videos like it covers the default methods and everything okay in uh, the rest api now and soap we have just begun let me just once show you also Okay, let let this open so uh, yeah for soap also we have first so for uh, you need to first cover all the default methods that are provided like rest is already yeah see so rest is already having its own methods like get put post retrieve a record put delete patch all these things okay it's already having so these are default okay these are default methods which are already provided you have not done anything here so first we have explored this okay and second these are all the methods in rest and second we have we have like we have customized it to our needs like see uh, we are getting the record here it will show you all the data in the incident okay it will show you all the data that is available in the instant incident but maybe our requirement is that we only want the incidents where i am the uh, caller or i am the one who has opened the incident or i am the one to which incident was assigned to so these are custom custom requirements okay i have covered the custom requirements here day one day two you know all these are testings and day three dynamic and path you can check that out okay so these are custom requirements so how you will fulfill that is scripted rest apis are there in the rest thing okay that is it for the soap one again we have default methods and we have uh, custom methods okay default method is already covered here yeah all default api methods and then we have a scripted web surface like in soap also we have get we have update we have update multiple we have create we have delete these kind of operations we already have there okay so you can use that now 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 the question is when we are already having rest and soap to access the data and we already have the authentications at place to access the instance then where can we use the mid server integration and with on prem system so on prem means on premises okay means uh, data centers 
server basically okay so where can we use this it's basically used at places where firewalls we need to bypass we need to bypass the firewalls so even if you are using uh, the uh, even if you are using like username and password or the oauth thing like there can be fi firewalls which will restrict it or it just makes it more secure okay so in these cases you can use mid server like yeah now in integration hub like hub is a low code solution for building api based integrations spokes are built connectors like these are again already provided things okay like like we have already provided methods here right so similarly if we use their spokes jira slack salesforce then we have some predefined actions in the flow designer we have actions so we have some predefined actions there which we can use to create update or delete or whatever we want okay that is webhooks and event driven integration so for service now i already told we have a rest message right via which we where which we can give the wait where which we can give the endpoint of the second instance that we are trying to access but what about instances which are not like service now driven right which are not service now driven so we so they don't have endpoint kind of thing so on those instance we have webhooks okay we have webhooks for uh those instances yeah so yeah real time data exchange between service now one one example that i have implemented is fresh desk okay that is now file based integrations i already covered monitoring and debugging integrations okay there are logs like we already know like there are you know specific logs yeah so we already covered that there are there are logs in the you know or you can add logs uh, let me just show you let me let me let me yeah so hmm so see you have particular logs for performance analytics job logs if data collector you are using mid server we have audit logs service level agreement so for everything like in the transactions we have logs for outbound see system logs we have all these things so you can check for particular log you can apply and you can check where it is breaking and all those steps okay now hands on example and use cases that i told this this whole playlist is covering and link you can find down in the uh, description section comment section and also it's in this this document which i have shared in my or i will be sharing in my linkedin post as well so you can check everything you can follow my linkedin again in the you know comment and description okay so yeah that is it about the basics of integration the where you need to begin why you need it the types the methods that are predefined so yeah all these things is there hmm i hope i hope you got where you are going where you are going to begin how you should begin and everything it answered so please 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 like share and subscribe it will motivate me a lot to proceed with my uh, knowledge sharing sessions and i am likely to create another playlist also which will be interview focused and only you know requirements will be covered there another one for virtual agent so please uh, try to Uh, share it as much as you can and subscribe uh, thank you thank you so much bye bye